Today I would like to show you how I convert a cheap LED projector into a pretty good home cinema projector. For this I used the Exelvan CL22D for about 150 bucks. It has all sorts of connections but I actually only need the HDMI port because I will hook the projector up to the PC to play mostly movies. Analog inputs and USB connections as well as the built-in speakers I will not use. This keystone lever is a mechanical trapezoid adjustment for the image. However, the image becomes blurred either at the top or the bottom since the lens can no longer focus the picture evenly. I will therefore not use this mechanical keystone. This is not a problem because I will place the projector in front of the screen in the middle. The projector has a nice bright picture and the resolution of 720 pixels works fine for me for now. The picture is excellent for this price. Most important for a home cinema projector is of course a silent fan. I will measure the noise 3 feet from the projector. It is 38 decibels. Of course this is way too loud. I'm going to replace the built-in low-cost fans with better quality PC fans. To do this, I turn the device around and take out all the Phillips screws to open the case. Be careful when removing the cover because the control panel is connected to the board with a cable. Here you can see how the image is directed through a mirror to the lens and then to the wall. Behind the mirror is where the radial fan is located which brings the air to the LCD panel to cool it. In front of the panel you can see the Keenstone lens which I think is useless. The air then continues into the rear housing and is then pushed out by a second fan. Here you can see that I cut out the plastic slats of the housing to have as little air resistance as possible. That helps a bit, but it's still very loud. Both fans are therefore being replaced and I start with the radial fan. To do this, I take off a part of the housing to get to the screw. Then it's pretty easy to get it out. I'll replace it with a 80mm Be Quiet fan. It is important that the fan is being put in the right way around so that it pushes the air in and not out. The air on the fan helps. Because the new fan is axial and not radial, I have to change the housing slightly. I just use cardboard and double sided tape for that. I form a cardboard funnel so that the new fan can bring the air nicely into the corner and then behind the aperture. I cut off the old fan cable so that I can connect the new fan. The new fan has a third cable for temperature control. This cable is not being connected. Now the second fan is replaced. Here I need a 92 mm fan. So far I've had pretty good results with the pure wings from Be Quiet. Here I also remove a part of the case 
then the fan cover can easily be removed. It's important that the new fan is the same size as the old one so that it fits exactly. Here also the airflow direction must be checked during installation. The metal cooling ribs ensure cooling of the LED chip. For a test I turn the projector on and check the function of both new fans. Both fans run fine. Now everything can be reassembled and the case can be closed again. Soon you'll find another video on my channel about the installation of this projector bracket that you see here. At a distance of 3 feet the noise test now only shows 18 dB, which is really nice and quiet. This fan conversion for about 20 bucks is absolutely worth it. With the new bracket, the projector is located centrally in front of the screen and the keystone does not need to be used. I spent about 200 bucks total for this setup. I'm very satisfied with the results and I hope this video helps as many viewers as possible to save money. Please give me a like and share this video if you liked it. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.